Mario Maker 2 English World Capture 1. Take one! Hey everybody, this is Ion and welcome back to my gaming channel. So, today we got this special game, which is called Super Mario Maker 2. I love this song. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, I actually own the first one, which is still light in the box, okay? But, but just because, the simple fact that uh, the Nintendo Switch has, has a larger install basement than... I mean a larger install base than, uh, than the Wii U, I decided to skip the first one just for now and uh, start off with the second one. So, uh, without further ado, I also like to point out that I started recording um, the story mode for you guys. Uh, but it so happens that I thought it would take um, lesser time, but I misjudged, I misjudged the, the length of the game. I mean, it's it's enormous. It's just... This, this should be called Super Mario Immaculate, Super Mario Unlimited, Super Mario Infinite. I'm not kidding. I mean... Everything that they've learned over the decades from Super Mario games, they condensed and put it in this game and gave people the freedom to uh, explore, experience, mix things that um, goes against the, the, <laughs> the natural law of things. Um, just be creative and be completely free. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the already the, the latest updated version, even though I could have played it at the first version. But no, I have the updated it and it's the version 3.12. Uh, the version 3.0.0 Yeah So I don't know if I should um, For those of you that are first timers that are um, Watching this game for the very first time Which I highly doubt but Let's let's just um, Explain something very quickly You have story mode, course world uh, Course world, excuse me And uh, course bot On the course bot Let's check it out. So this is where you make your worlds and your uh, your maps, uh, and your uh, individual levels. You can put them here after you made them, and you can send them off to the to the internet, or you can download other people's uh, levels or other people's worlds. Um, you can store them here. So this is that's what this is for. Okay. Um, there goes the robot's face. <laughs> the world bot. Well, you got this little pigeon, Yamamura. Uh, I mean the dojo. What? Well, I don't know what the literal meaning of dojo is, but I'm guessing it's a place where you gain uh, knowledge or information because these are basically tutorials, okay? The game will teach you about Mario's moves and about Essentially, how do you work this thing out in order to start making games, okay? Making levels and then making maps. Making worlds, I mean, okay? So, you got then Course Maker and World Maker, okay? And then Story Mode, which is enormous. Um, excuse me. Let's just go back to the main page. Main title, I mean. Course world. So I made a, a me. Uh, I mean, well, a me, which is what it's actually called. But for those of you that don't know, it's an avatar. So this is supposedly a representation of me, because I've already been playing. I got that shirt, which is uh, Mario Bros. On the back, it actually has Mario. I mean, 8-bit Mario actually uh, there. <laughs> he's always going like this, so uh, I'm hoping his arms won't fall off. Okay, so what else? Um, let's just do a little quick uh, presentation about the game. So, the courses. You got hot courses. I don't know how, do, how they select them or what they actually mean. Do they mean hot right now? Because right next to it is, is a, a, our uh, popular courses. So I'm guessing these are the top played games of the moment, okay? So, they can be made by anybody in the world. So, on the, on the left side of this uh, little cardboard, uh, you can see they have the me, or as I, should I say, a, char a character of, the, of the, um, the person that actually made the level. So, this is, a, uh, this is a, a kind of a identity representation of the person that made the level, okay? So, an avatar, if you may. 
Um, you have the flag, you have the name of the person, which is obviously written in Japanese. Um, and you got the style. So the style is Super Mario 3D World, okay? You got various styles here from the 80s up until the 2010s, okay? So what else? New courses. These are the new levels that have been made um, today. I mean, at the moment, you know, you can scroll down and go back to um, I don't know how far, but it doesn't matter. Like from the from I came here like 10 in the morning, and there were already um, new levels ready to be played, made from people all over the world. So that's the thing. Unlimited levels here on this game. Oh, the only thing that you need is a switch, this game, and the uh, internet subscription. Uh, Okay, the main differences between the Wii U version and this version, even though this is now with the final update, well, the game will be uh, celebrating its first year next month or within two months, some, something somewhere along those lines. And um, there are subtle differences. Um, there are some gains and some losses, even though I haven't played the first one. This is so much I know just from watching people playing and, and reviews and comments and whatnot. Um, the big difference is this, you got a certain amount of install basement on the, on the Wii U, you play with the Wii U gamepad uh, in order to make the maps and make the levels and whatnot, here it, it, it functions differently, even though here you have to pay for a subscription service to play online and on the Wii U you have not, so think about that for a second, okay? The, one of the only games, besides indie titles, that, that actually breathe life still today to the Wii U, is Super Mario Maker 1. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this game right here will be one of those games that will still be breathing life into the Nintendo Switch way after Nintendo is done supporting it. And um, I'm gonna take a wild guess, even if they close their internet service, um, servers, excuse me, they eventually will find out a way to play this online. I mean, come on. They did that with the Wii. You can play Mario Kart Wii online on a, it's a pirate server. Uh, uh, because Nintendo shut down their official service, but people and fans just, uh, you know, nature finds its way. <laughs> okay? So, over here on the detail search, what can I show you guys? So, you can go by popularity, um, popularity multiplayer versus. I mean, I haven't explained that yet. You can play multiplayer in different uh, styles. You can do co-op, you can play with somebody who's locally, I mean, in the same room as you. You can play with people who are nearby. You can play on the inter internet. Um, you can play up until four players, all at the same time. Um, the characters are Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette. I did not know uh, that Toadette was uh, an existing character. I was expecting like a similar lineup to Super Mario Bros. 2. So I, I was expecting like uh, the princess to be playable. Uh, because I, I remember that the princess could f could like jump and float for a certain period of time and then she eventually would come down. So, so you can play as those uh, four characters. So there's no second uh, secondary characters. They, they feel like they're all primary. There is no such thing as the lame ass second player that nobody wants to touch and usually Luigi uh, represented that so that's not the case here he has a, a very important uh, um, meaning here in this game which is basically imagine this if you're playing as Mario and you're you know you you cannot pass the level he comes out with uh, with like <laughs> asking you don't forget I'm here and I'm here to help so you can add things to the level you know, as if you're like in a way editing the level or creating the level and you can, you know, uh, give certain tweaks so that you can pass it. So, or you can ask Luigi, you know, pass the whole level without even me watching the level. Luigi can do that, okay? So, in story mode, uh, that's something to think about and um, collecting coins is important. It's not just for show off, it's actually important, at least in story mode, okay? But don't forget, that's, that's in, in another separate video, not in this one, okay? I just want to give you guys a little context about how you play it and, and whatnot without, you know, talking way too much, which I'm guessing I'll, I am actually talking way too much right now. So, course theme. You can play levels that are, you know, um, themed, in, in this case, on the ground, in the skies, underground, in the forest, underwater. 
ghost houses, the desert, airships in the snow, castle, you name it. You got everything here that you that might remind you of Super Mario, it is here in this game. Difficulty, you got easy, normal, expert, and super expert. Here they, they, they like, they thought about everything, if that is even possible. They're trying to do the unthinkable, which is try to please everybody. You can never please everybody, but really, the easy mode is so easy that even if you have that friend that, um, let's imagine you invite your friends over here, okay? You can play at least up to two people just by, uh, because you got two Joy-Cons if you buy the regular Switch, I mean, not the Switch Lite, but the re regular one, and you can hold them sideways, okay? You can hold them just like that, and you can play these games just as fine. Um, and you, you got that one friend that is like, you know that this guy, I feel bad for this guy or girl or whatever, um, because once we're gonna start playing, he's always gonna lose. She's always gonna stay behind, like she's always gonna fail, not here. They are so easy that literally everybody can be a part of and feel that they are just as good as you. And if that is not enough, you got that, that mode where, where uh, Luigi actually helps you, okay? If, to give you, you an idea without actually playing it right now, uh, to keep this video short, I mean the beginning of this video very short, uh, if you're familiar with the new Super Mario Bros that came out for the Wii, and you have them four players, if one of them dies, then that player comes back up again in a bubble. You know, it's something like that. So you, get, you can play online, you can play co-op, you can play with maximum, I think, four players at the same time. And I read somewhere here in the menus that only one of those uh, those switches, the switch that is, one of, only one person needs internet connection. I don't know how they're going to make that happen, but okay. I tried internet connection on the Switch. I was uploading, I was doing backups. The internet is slow right now because of this, this stinking virus, you know. Um, it's been really difficult in terms of um, trying to manage internet stuff. Um, I have not managed to experience that because internet is so damn slow, but okay, that's another topic. So for those of you that create levels, you can tag the levels. And you can come here and search by region. There's no Europe, I don't know why, they just call it other. You can search in Asia, the Americas, or my region, which is, which is nearby. Um, you have, uh, I mean, those recognizable traits of, of uh, Super Mario games that go from the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s to the 2010s, and they even gave you new stuff, stuff that you haven't seen before, at least I haven't. Um, you have levels that are like, imagine Super Mario, but you, they turn it around and made it a shooter level or uh, uh, an auto scroll or a speed run, or um, you can play as Link, for instance. You can play, you, you know, maybe somebody made a musical level or an auto Mario, which is uh, once you start, you can control the first bit of it, but then it goes into auto mode and you watch it, you know, Mario being pushed and shoved and I don't know where, and then it finishes. So you can do all those things. Well, let's go back. I know I'm probably giving you way too much information and talking way too fast, but please keep in mind, this is still, uh, I'm still experiencing, you know, uh, how to actually make this work and um, explain to you guys a couple of things, you know, before I actually start playing this, because I want this to be uh, a kind of series. So when you watch the first video, you'll have follow-ups. Um, just giving you a, a different reason to come back, okay? And also, I wanted to, um, on the end of each video, have a little preview of what's coming, uh, you know, uh, on the next one. But for now, because I need to <laughs> to start uh, a bit slower and, and, and eventually build some momentum up, I need to, you know, not put all that pressure on me right now, so I'm just gonna play. But nevertheless, explaining is important, okay? I talk too damn much, I'm sorry, sorry. But this game is packed, it's just so big, you know? And for those of you that don't know, you, you watch me play and think like, well, that's it, that's the only thing that you can do now. You have something new that is called the ninjas, which, which are these little, like, characters. I, I don't recognize them, but if you play in a map, for instance, a world map. Uh, wait, wait, this is the wrong, um... Like here, Super World. Oh no, wait, it was back here. Here, you see that Ninja Speed runs. You're gonna have on the map, let me show you a map. For instance, 
So this is a whole world that somebody made. Okay, yeah. You see those little black thingies jumping around with red cheeks? Those are the ninjis. So that means that you can play this level also um, playing it as a speed run. So you can play it normally or you can speed run it. I don't know what those numbers mean. For instance, that one says uh, number seven uh, nearby the ghost house. Um, I don't know if seven people have tried to, to beat a time record. But I'm guessing that that's what what's it, what's about. Okay, let's go back. One of the last things it says here, endless challenge. This means what? This is basically, they randomly um, give you levels. You, as you see right there, I tried one of them. The, lev the difficulty level I'm playing is on easy. You can see that on the top of the screen. You have easy, normal, expert, and super expert, just as I showed you back there. So everybody can play it. So the thing is, how many levels can you actually make it through without having game over? That's the endless challenge. This, that is what the endless challenge is all about. Please guys, if I'm mistaken, correct me in the comments down below because I just had a certain amount of time to explore this and I'm trying to explain you guys very quickly. Oh, this, here's the thing. For instance, you guys want to find out, um, you, you guys want to locate me. So what do you do? You, you have my user ID, so you just type it in. And you can then find me and follow me pressing the star. Just like you do, you know, on your internet browser when, you're, when you want to add something to your favorites. That's, that's the main thing. You can add also courses or levels, or you can add, you know, entire worlds here. So, and starting off where we once were, what is this? Oh, the leaderboards. Just one thing is missing, okay? The leaderboards are organized in, a, in, a, in this fashion. Like, the top course makers in the world, okay? The top players, the top versus players, meaning the ones that play against each other. Here are your favorites. So I'm not following anything or anyone. Here, here will be displayed uh, your list of friends, okay? And on the last icon, which has the M of Mario, are people or um, accounts that officially make uh, levels. And they, uh, I say that they are official because they are people who work for Nintendo. So I'm guessing you got Nintendo Australia, Europe, Japan. Um, just to have a quick look. You see, there you go. These type of levels are made by official re representatives of uh, Nintendo. Okay, there's not much to show here. Here are the courses, we, we already showed this. Um, the network play. So here you go on the internet and search for people to, to play. Just I explain. Multiplayer co-op, multiplayer versus people who are nearby that want to play or play with friends. Um, another thing, when you're playing levels, you can leave these comments or make little drawings. It, for those of you that remember, um, that remember, uh, how, how, what, what was it called? The Miiverse on the Wii U, remember that? It's very similar, okay? 